Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of the Oklahoma Metro Living Show. I'm Melissa Branson with Metro First Realty Group. Now if home ownership and house hunting have been on your mind lately, you won't want to miss this month's video series. I officially launched my first time home buyer boot camp, which means this month I'll be sharing everything that you need to know to have a successful home buying experience. Now today is week three, which means that you're pre-approved and we're officially ready to start house hunting. Now, if you missed weeks one and two, you can catch them on my IGTV series, my Facebook page, or my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm gonna walk you through how I set up your custom home search and share a few things that you need to know about the house hunting process. So fill up your coffee cup and join me for today's mini training. Right now, well, things are getting exciting and it's officially time to start house hunting. But how do you know which houses are even available? Well, there's no more searching through countless real estate websites trying to figure out which homes are actually for sale and whether or not they already have an accepted offer. It's time to set up your custom home search. Now, the first step in setting up your custom home search happens when we meet for our buyer consultation. Uh, this is when we'll dig into all the fun stuff like the features that you would love to have in your house. Um, your ideal location and your must-haves. We'll also talk about deal breakers and prioritize what's most important to you in a new home so that we can narrow down your house hunting criteria and remove any overwhelm. Now, I'll ask you questions like, what's your favorite room in your current house? Um, what is a space that you don't have but you would love to have? And how long do you see yourself living in the home you buy? I wanna learn as much as I can about the why behind the house you're looking for so that I can help guide you throughout the process and make sure that you end up with a house that you love. Next, I'll create a custom home search based on all the criteria we discussed, um, including specific details such as square footage requirements, uh, the size of your yard, and the location. And when I create the custom search, you'll be set up to receive an email with a link to any new or existing listings that match that specific criteria. It can be set up to send to you automatically, which means you may get several emails in one day, or it can send you one email a day with all of the new listings or updates. Now the home search filters will eliminate the major deal breakers and include the major must-haves. For example, if your deal breaker is a one-car garage, I'll set the filter to eliminate any listings with one-car garages so that you don't have to be sidetracked by that gorgeous kitchen only to realize with disappointment that it only has a one-car garage and therefore it's not a contender. Now the custom home search will keep you on track to find the right house for your lifestyle instead of feeling overwhelmed by sites like Zillow. All right, so what do you need to know about house hunting? Well, once your search is set up, you'll be able to see which homes are currently on the market that match the criteria that we selected. Uh, from here, you'll look through and determine if any of these are worth touring. When you do find a house that you wanna see, here is what you need to know. Typically, if the house is owner-occupied, we'll, we'll need overnight notice to schedule a private showing. When we schedule the showing, we can block off an hour of time to see it. Now, if we're seeing multiple houses, we won't spend an hour at each one, but we can always circle back for a second showing if one stood out uh, that you wanna see again. Lastly, I always recommend keeping our house hunting max at five showings in one day. It can be super overwhelming to extend beyond five in one day and the houses will, will start to blend together. So in order to stay on track with only looking at homes that fit your criteria and preventing feelings of overwhelm, um, I've learned that it's best to keep it at a max of five showings. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what, what's next? What happens when I do find the one? You know, that house that you're already mentally arranging your furniture in or dreaming of Pinterest boards for every room. Well, that's what I'm talking about in next week's episode, so make sure to mark that on your calendars. Now, if you have any specific questions about the house hunting process or you wanna schedule a home buyer consultation to get the ball rolling with everything that I've talked about today, just send me a DM or comment below and I will reach out. Well, thanks for tuning into this week's episode and I will see you next time.